Hey everybody, it's Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, and we're heading out to the chicken coop to give them some treats and spend some time with the ladies. Good morning, ladies. You saying, hey, where are my treats at? Where are my treats at? We got Sophia and Dorothy there under the coop. Hello, Blanche. Hello, Rose. You gonna lay today? When are you gonna start laying? When are you gonna start laying? You too, freeloaders. We know Rose is doing her job every day. I got a nice, pretty white egg. But Blanche here is the problem child. She is the oldest of the four, and we have a bit of a problem with her. There we go. That's Rose's egg, the nice, pretty white. They're getting bigger. <laughs> And let's check. <gasps> hey, Blanche, good job today. All right. Guys, I got a little issue to talk about with uh, Blanche's eggs here. Yeah, the front of the coop still looks like this. Um, with Tech Week and everything else I've had going on, I haven't been able to build the front of the coop yet. Um, that hopefully will be done in the next week or so. Uh, we'll see before I get mired in tech week for another show. But so far, it's doing the job. It's keeping the chickens contained. We're here during the day. We check on them a lot. So during the day, we don't have to worry about the predators. And the coop itself over there um, wow. is very secure. And as long as the chickens all go in on time, uh, the automatic door is doing wonders for this. So it's pretty great. So here's the problem that I'm having with Blanche's eggs. While Rose, my leghorn, her eggs are solid. They are great. Blanche has been laying kind of soft eggs. And I think, I mean, this, this one's pretty good as her eggs go. Um, but we get a lot of soft eggs from her. I think this is maybe the third egg that I've had that isn't like, malleable and like her first egg that I that I had that I was able to actually eat um, I hard boiled it and then I was able to peel it like just by pulling the shell and it came off in a little mushy ribbony spiral editing Danny popping in so that I can show you an example of yesterday's egg looks great right nice uh, hard looking shell but look at the other side so there was a kind of discolored spot, which you can see there, and I'll pop a picture right up there uh, so you can see, and it's just, it was soft. Oh, you can see as I'm holding it, it's just crumbling in. Um, so this is a little more hard than they have been, um, but as you can see, this has just been sitting there since yesterday and it caved in on its own. So this is going in the trash. By comparison, today's egg does not have any of those discolored spots, as far as I can tell. So this, for her, is a really good solid egg. Back to your regularly scheduled video. So I am reaching out to all my fellow chicken tenders here on YouTube to see if they can give me some advice and get her laying consistently hard eggs. So I'll start out with what they're eating. Now, when I first got them, the only one old enough to lay was Blanche. So we had them on a starter grower feed, um, especially because the Easter egger is quite a bit younger, about three or four weeks younger than the rest. So we had them on the starter grower, and I am now, as that bag is, is getting empty, I'm mixing in some layer feed to transition them over. So within I don't know, a week or so, they will all be on layer feed. I also do have tons of oyster shell. It's in addition their coop, it's 
all over the ground in the coop and I know I've seen her eating plenty of it. Like she's picking at it and eating it. So I know that she's getting plenty of oyster shell. I also feed black soldier fly larvae as a treat. So I give them a couple of handfuls a day, uh, just, you know, once they've had their breakfast and all of that. So I know that they're not just filling up on that, and not eating their, their feed. Yes, there is plenty of oyster shell available and they get the calcium in the black soldier fly larva as well. They also do have plenty of grit. I mean, they've got stuff to pick at from the dirt that was already here, but I also do have um, in the coop and under the coop, I do have bowls of grit as well um, for them to pick through. And I know I've seen her eating plenty of that. So I know that it's in there helping her break down that oyster shell and, and everything else. I did even resort yesterday to taking the shells of four eggs and grinding them up and giving them bits of eggshell, which I know is not something typically that you want to encourage. Uh, I do notice that when her eggshells are soft and really malleable, she eats them. I don't know if they're breaking already just because they're that soft or if she just knows that something isn't right with them. And so she turns around and says, well, I guess it's food now. When her eggs are hard, she doesn't eat them. I have yet to see a hard eggshell that has been pecked and cracked. And I know she's not egg eating for the moisture because there is always water available in the coop. I'm wondering if transitioning them over fully to layer feed will help this problem. So by the end of this week, they will be fully on the layer feed. I'm also going to go down to my local co-op today and look for maybe a calcium supplement that I can put into the water so that it's more bioavailable for her. But I figured I would reach out to all of you on YouTube and see if you guys can help me with this problem. Maybe give me some ideas that I'm not thinking of or haven't been suggested to me uh, by people in my orbits. So please do give me all your chicken advice. Just spam my comments with your chicken advice. I could really use the help here. This is a problem that I'm having and I don't wanna have with the rest of my chickens when they start laying. I think the speckled Sussex and the Easter Egger, uh, Sophia and Dorothy should be laying in the next couple of weeks. And I'd really like to make sure that they're getting everything they need to have as gorgeous eggs as Rose is giving me. So yeah, leave a comment in the box. Tell me what you've done to fix soft shell eggs. Give this video a big thumbs up to help it get circulated widely so I get more advice. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye